Oh, so, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just got caught up reading this book. I'm sitting here with Lee Chambers, the co-writer, producer, and director of The Pineville Heist, based on, that's right, this book here. And it's already been released in Canada. You've been doing an amazing job with it. What has that process been like for you? Uh, hard. It's been, a, it's been an eight-year journey to, to get this film out. Uh, it hasn't been easy because uh, finding funding for your first feature film is a battle. Uh, no one really trusts you with money, no one believes you, there's always that monkey on your shoulder telling you no, no, no. And uh, But I persevered. I think everybody has their first time making it a movie and you, you go through whatever you have to go through to get it, get it done. Uh, with mine, it was all private. I, found, I, I managed to do it uh, with all private financing, no, uh, didn't even use tax dollars. It was. Uh, it was so low, but uh, interestingly, we made it. Uh, we made it look like a million dollars, um, and it's you know found distribution, and it's uh, Cineplex uh, have taken it on and uh, exclusively in Canada and put it out in a bunch of cinemas, and uh, so it's and we've been selling out, which is great. And you've done all that distribution yourself as well. No, I have a distributor, a Black Wolf Media Group, in uh, in Origin Releasing in the, in the states are mm -hmm. running it, so they're they're going to be put, putting it out uh, this summer on um, you know, Blu-ray and DVD and 6,000 Walmart stores, and then. But in terms of the Canadian, like the deal with Cineplex and getting it out, in that's theater, yeah. I that's mean, been I, you. I, I you know I have a distributor who handles everything but theatrical, so I took over theatrical and obviously um, you know festivals, but festivals are, are going to be limited because we will be coming out in, in sort of the physical format and. And whatnot. So yeah, the, the deal with, with Cineplex, I kind of just handled handle on my own. And uh, you know, when we sold out a bunch of cinemas, uh, they actually got inundated with people wanting it back, so they booked it back in again, and then they booked it into Toronto in June. In June, so it's it's doing well. It has been an interesting story to follow because we've been promoting the film. Uh, we've we've had our eye on it, eye on it. Uh, and and we've noticed that it's it's gone away and then it's come back and it's gone away, it's come back. It's really hard to secure distribution at all in Canada. So the fact that you did this all on your own and that you secured screens on Cineplex across the country is truly impressive. It's it really is all about getting it done however you can. So that your your story is very inspiring to me, and I'm sure to a lot of the filmmakers who are watching. Thanks. Uh, you know, one of the biggest pieces of advice I could give people is it's you got to ask. People say, "Well, how did you do this?" Well, I asked. And I think if you do it, uh, if you have a really good plan, if you, if you if you make sure it looks professional, professional, and you package it nicely, and you, you just ask, uh, and sometimes people, you know, what's the worst thing can happen? They say no, um, but when they say yes, it's a it's a golden moment. I mean, in the past with my short films, uh, I've had uh, Rod, uh, David Cronenberg, Roger Corman, Paul Haggis have been executive producers of my wow. short films because I asked. Right. Uh, and everyone always, how did you do it? I just asked. It's as simple as that. You just got to be uh, bold and, and if you believe in yourself and you have confidence and uh, you're humble about it then people respect that they respect that you have a passion for something and they'll mm -hmm. and usually you get rewarded I think that's such a good lesson for so many people in this industry is that you have to have the guts to just put forth your, your ask. And the best next best thing to a yes is a no, because then you can just move on. But you know where your project might land, where it has its uh, you know, champions, right? For sure. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of young filmmakers out there, or well, even older filmmakers, who are trying to make, <laughs> make their first film. There's no age in filmmaking. Exactly. And they... Uh, you know, it's a tough, tough business. You know, making it's one thing, distributing it is another, is another, another issue. Um, and uh, you know, if you stick at it long enough, uh, and you, you know, and you, and you make sure that you uh, make sure that you have a good product, um, it'll it'll eventually rise to the top. This is a great industry for weeding out people who don't have the dedication, right? Because so often it will take you the eight years, and a lot of people won't have. Uh, won't have it in them to keep pushing a project for that long. It's tenacity, right? It is, it is. Tenacity. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're here at the Cannes Film Festival. What are you looking for here? You know what? Uh, after eight years of making this movie, part of it is a holiday. Is just to be in the sun on well the beach. Well earned. On sun on the beach, and then you know it's meeting. It's meeting people. I, you know, it's uh, it, to me. It's planting seeds. It's 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 changing business cards. It's it's uh, it's finding what are other people doing. How are they doing it? It's educating yourself. I mean, I was here eight years ago, 
pushing another script that I wanted to do. And after walking around the Marche de Film, I uh, found out, that, you know what, that film is going to be difficult as a first time right. filmmaker. You oh. need to make a genre movie. And that became the Pine Dole Heist. became this one. And literally eight years ago, it, it, that movie became what it is because of being here at the festival right. and educating myself. And a lot of filmmakers, I think, they live in their own little world, their own little bubble where they think the world revolves around them. Mm -hmm. And they just want to make, they go and make a film. And you have to understand that if you educate yourself on the business side of this, Absolutely. you understand what does distributors want, how is how are movies not just being made, but how are they being sold, that can help you almost reverse engineer what right. you're doing. And so uh, that's what I did. I made it I made a, a you know a, a, a teen action thriller mm -hmm. and that dis a distributor wanted. Good lessons and good advice from Lee Chambers, who's worked on this film for eight years, but now it's been seen in theaters across Canada. And it's coming to Toronto, you said, in June. So take a look at firstweekingclub.ca. You'll find out all about where and when it's screening. Thanks, Lee. Thanks a lot. Cheers.